All right, it is time for your thoughts this midday. A study from ADT says it is acceptable to leave kids home alone between the ages of 12 and 15 years old. Three states have age requirement laws, Illinois, Oregon, and Maryland. And Nevada provides guidelines and recommendations, but the common age we found is about 10 years old. So joining us today, we have Simi Perwal, a parent to daughters Maya and Farah, mm -hmm. 10 and 12 yes. years old. And then Amy uh, Rungi with a registered nurse and clinical supervisor at Healthy Living Institute at UMC. Welcome both of you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Wanted to get that out. We have, we have a picture of your of your daughters, don't we? Yes. To show everyone. And being a mom is, is a full time job. It's hard work, and it's hard to make decisions at some time mm -hmm. on when you think is appropriate. So why don't we start with you, just kind of as a parent, because we've had a lot of people chime in on Facebook too. I think the biggest thing is to see the maturity level of the child. Uh -huh. Even if a child is ten, like my little one, or twelve, you want to make sure that the kid is comfortable with the procedures of if they're home alone. Right. Do they know to call 911? Uh, make sure they put the alarm on, make sure that the cameras are working. You want them to be safe at all times, but right. as a parent, I know <laughs> right. I get nervous. Even if I leave them for 10 minutes, I can't get home fast enough. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's still nerve wracking. When do you think you'll feel comfortable? I'm comfortable now because okay, my older one now. is of an appropriate age okay. and I trust her 100%. I know she'll make great judgment calls mm -hmm. and I, I know she'll not let me down. Yeah, I think it's kind of sometimes for a lot of folks, maybe, maybe a gut feel, feeling thing, right, Amy? Mm -hmm. It can be, yeah. yeah. It but what do you be. recommend? Well, again, you brought up a great point. It's maturity level. Mm -hmm. Kids mature at different rates. Mm -hmm. So you can have twin 12-year-olds, and one is ready and the other isn't. Mm -hmm. So as a parent gauge, are they comfortable in unsafe situations? Mm -hmm. Are they okay independent task mm -hmm. when you're home? Maybe a parent can be right. like, they can't even get themselves a drink of water. Exactly. Sure. Or they're scared when I'm home mm -hmm. and I go in the other room. Mm -hmm. So how comfortable are they? Listen to your child. Um, we talked earlier in the, mm -hmm. the break room about giving them trial runs, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Giving them opportunities to prove that they're ready and they understand what to do. So right. I would start with yeah. a 30 minute trial. Good. I would not go too far and then I would make sure I come home and I would ask them, how did you feel? Yeah. What made you uncomfortable? Because even in your own house as a child, yeah. certain sounds right. make Freak you out. uncomfortable, right? <laughs> no, so you want to make sure that they yeah. are comfortable with their surroundings. And if they have any questions, they can ask you immediately. Yeah, it's interesting. My friend from home, um, she was in for a wedding. So she brought her 16-year-old son, 13-year-old mm -hmm. mm -hmm. daughter. And then a big group of them were going to an, a show that served drinks. So they couldn't bring it. It was 21 mm -hmm. and over, you know? So they thought, well, should we leave them in the room? Are they right. okay? And the 16-year-old is fine. But I think the 13-year-old, she's, she's a little right. wilder. Mm -hmm. and so. But I exactly. think being with brother was okay. okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, that's true. So yeah. that was a good influence. Right, it's kind of yeah. that gut feeling, you and know? And do they obey the rules? And I think you brought that up as yeah. well. That's not only maturity, but will my child, when confronted in a situation that's unsafe or that's questionable, mm -hmm. will they know what to do? Right. And we take for granted. You know, I've taught tweens before, mm -hmm. you know, young, young kids, 10 and 11, and ask them, so what do you do if there's a fire in the house? Exactly. And they're like, well, I guess I call the fire department. Like they don't know. You call 911 in Nevada, you go outside. Mm -hmm. So part of what we can get into is the training that we can provide at the hospital as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get so, children ready for that. So I love We're going to sign your daughter up. Yes. <laughs> I love that. And you guys were, I'm sure, chatting about yeah. this. This is a great uh, thing that you guys have. Tell folks at home. Absolutely. So Safe Sitter is a nationally recognized program. Mm -hmm. And it teaches children between 11 and 14 how to keep themselves safe. So it's not only about getting them ready to be babysitters mm -hmm. because when they're done with the class I say your child may never want to babysit mm -hmm. so it's preparing them in the presence of an unsafe situation mm -hmm. right. an emergency an illness an injury what do you do so we do teach them CPR we do teach them how to handle emergencies and situations, um, how to have a backup adult. Again, all the things. And then I educate the parents at the end. That's important. I say, you know, do you have a backup mm -hmm. adult if you leave? Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a neighbor that knows, hey, I'm leaving the girls, yeah. I'm going to the store, mm -hmm. you know, so that kind of thing. So yeah. it's a wonderful opportunity. UMC provides this class at no cost. Oh, my goodness. It's the way that UMC gives back. And we have summer classes that I'm booking right now. So, um, you know, you can go to our website at umcsn.com and look at the Healthy Living Institute at UMC and you can um, call and get information about our summer classes. This is great. That's yeah. fabulous. And one last concern, Please. social media. Yeah. Oh, yes. If you're home alone, yes. I don't want the kids to be on their phones or with their iPods mm -hmm. or yep. so busy and distracted because if something happens, yeah. they won't know how to Absolutely. handle it. And we do cover, we mm -hmm. cover that a lot. Mm -hmm. Online safety. Such mm -hmm. good information, mm -hmm. really. We asked this on Facebook and, and we like our viewers to chime in. So we've got some responses and I've been scrolling through and I've been seeing a lot of people saying you kind of does de depend on, on how they are with you, like yeah. you guys right. were 
were saying. That was a really, really good point. Mm -hmm. And you can see the question there. We asked, what age are you comfortable leaving your kids home alone? And here are some of the responses. I think we've got an answer that's going to come up on the screen, I believe. from Michelle, okay, mm-hmm. there it is. Uh, Michelle says it depends on the kid and for how long. Good. A couple of hours is one thing, but not days at a time. Yeah, oh, don't yeah. go on a weekend oh, yeah. getaway, no, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate yeah. Michelle's comments. Absolutely, yes. that's great to clarify that it should be a short amount of time as well, right. especially for those trial runs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then a lot of people also saying, you know, kind of on the same level, maturity level. You know, yep. it, re- it really does depend. It does. Uh, did, did you prepare your kids for this, or did you, did you try it kind of to see? how they would react, maybe like mm. run around the corner. I'm a big communicator, so I want to make sure that they know, again, the rules. And mm-hmm. I have expectations, and I want mm-hmm. them to follow them. Right. And again, if they're uncomfortable with something, please ask me so we can clarify it as, as much right. as we possibly can. Mm-hmm. But again, I wanted them to know 911, right. 311. Yep. I mean, you know, if neighbors. neighbors. Neighbors, you can go to neighbors. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and don't ever answer the door. Right. We Even if it's a that. friendly knock. Yeah. I said, Mom and Dad have a key. We have a garage door opener. Do not answer yep. the door. Yeah. You know, and I like that we have cameras. We have exactly. Security system. We have a gate, and you know life is not like it was when I no, was growing up. It's, it's true. It's a little more different. So it we is need different. to be a little more cautious. Yeah. Even you guys just having this conversation, us talking about it. Hopefully, folks at home just right. listening and good reminders for them. We have to go, but real quick again, yes. that information about yes. the class. So umcsn.com. Okay. And then look up the Healthy Living Institute. It'll, they'll have information on there. They can call us and register. Again, this is UMC's way to give back That's to the fantastic. community. It is perfect. Thank you guys so much. Thank for you so much for having us. Thank Stay you. With us.